afternoon, everyone. Thank you very much for joining me. This might be why I was having problems with my computer yesterday. Uh, there is a new source of solar flares. A large and complex sunspot just emerged over the sun's southeastern limb. Yesterday, it produced the X1.3 class solar flare. Um, even before, the sunspot area was fully revealed. Any flares in th this weekend uh, will be Earth-directed, so that is not good. As you know, solar flares can affect the Earth's uh, magnetic field, create adverse weather, earthquakes, and all kinds of bad stuff. They even impact people's health. But this is the bad boy right over here, right there. Here's the KP index um, that was happening and when I was trying to download data uh, to do a Yellowstone video and you can see it peaked and you know, we'll probably get some more. Here is what Space Weather Live is currently showing. Right there is that bad boy, the uh, X1.3. And then there's been more activity. Look how it's climbing. And then it dropped down recently. Right here on the left-hand side is that sunspot area. They haven't given it a name yet. Even if it was a previous sunspot that rotated behind the, the back side of the sun and it's just now coming around, they'll give it a new sunspot name. People are pro probably wondering what's the difference between a uh, solar flare and a coronal mass ejection. When the magnetic field there on the sun gets all twisted up and then it quickly releases amount of energy, it has a sudden flash of light. That's called a solar flare. Flares can last minutes to hours and they can contain tremendous amount of energy traveling at the speed of light and it only takes about eight minutes for that outburst, that light, from the solar flare to reach Earth. Solar flares and CMEs have different effects on the Earth as well, which explains the high interest in them among members of the public. The energy from a solar flare can disrupt the area of the atmosphere through which radio waves travel. This can lead to the uh, degradation and, at worst, temporary blackouts of navigation. You know, your uh, GPS, ham radios, high frequency, um, even television and internet. A CME, on the other hand, is like a cannonball. It creates currents that drive particles down towards the Earth's poles. When these react with oxygen and nitrogen, they help create the northern lights, the auroras. Additionally, the magnetic charges can affect a variety of human technologies. It can degrade high-frequency radio waves, so radios transmit static and GPS coordinates stray by a few yards, meters. The magnetic oscillation can also create electrical currents and utility grids on Earth that can overload electrical system when power companies are not prepared. Yeah, how many of you remember, I believe it was Canada, um, where they had many of their power stations or a few of their power stations blow out because of the impact from the sun on the Earth? Yeah. Um, this is probably one of the main reasons besides hackers why I unplug my computer at night yeah, just in case there is a CME. And yeah, we have an electrical surge through our power lines that can short out your electronics. So I thought that was interesting. We need to keep an eye on this as long as it's earth facing. Yeah, so what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.